The family of a man shot and killed by a Volusia County Sheriff's deputy Saturday has hired an attorney. 52 year old Edward Miller's widow spoke briefly to us off camera but referred questions to the lawyer who has not returned calls. West 2's Claire Metz joining us live from Friars Towing in Daytona Beach where the shooting occurred. And Claire, the deputy involved in the shooting and another deputy were up there investigating an unrelated case. Right, undercover and in plain clothes until they heard something, according to the sheriff's department, that led them to check on Edward Miller Sr. and his 25 year old son, also named Edward, right here outside the tow yard. Now, we've confirmed that the senior was shot and killed while sitting in his silver Jeep SUV. And his widow told us off camera it should never have happened. Edward Miller's widow Gina was at the couple's Port Orange home today, but spoke only briefly with us off camera before referring us to a newly hired attorney. She said her husband was carrying a gun Saturday when he and his son went to Friars Towing in Daytona Beach to retrieve this red pickup truck. But she says Miller was sitting in this silver Jeep SUV, his sidearm holstered when he was fatally shot. The sheriff's department is not commenting today, citing the ongoing FDLE investigation. Sheriff Ben Johnson made that clear the hours after the deputy involved shooting. At this time, it's under investigation. You'll get more facts later. We don't have all the facts at this time. According to staff at Friars, the father and son paid the fee to get the truck out of the tow lot and left, but were out on the road for a good 10 minutes, possibly speaking loudly to each other. Deputy Joel Hernandez and another deputy were at the tow yard in plain clothes on unrelated business when they approached father and son. Why Deputy Hernandez was compelled to fire into the Jeep killing Miller is unclear. We do know father and son had been at the tow yard Friday to try and collect the pickup. And Daytona Beach police were called to respond because the father was allegedly shouting at the clerk. Another customer noticed the son had a gun in a holster and became concerned. But police say father and son never threatened anyone and that they were told the father always spoke loudly because of the hearing loss. Back live now, FDLE has collected statements from all involved. And we also know that there is extensive surveillance from Friars showing here that is now part of this investigation as well. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Clara Metz, West 2 News.